Hey guys, today I'm doing a video on 20 useful tips that every Animal Crossing New Leaf beginner should know. Um, it's just pretty much a bunch of random things that you probably wouldn't have known until you played the game for a long time. Some of them are quite obvious, but I know some people who literally didn't know a lot of these and they are very helpful. <laughs> okay, so I will show you using my DS. Um, the first tip I'm going to tell you about is stacking fruit. Yes, that is quite simple. So yeah, it's very simple. You just pick up your fruit. And then when you go into your inventory, you just slide them on top of each other. That probably is something you already knew, um, but to be honest, I've played Animal Crossing my whole life and I didn't figure that out till Animal Crossing New Leaf. <laughs> For tip number two, if you chop down a tree and it leaves like a special mark on it, mine, this would be like the Triforce, it'll sometimes spawn a random mushroom and some of these could be worth a lot, like the rare mushrooms. Um, this is just a, a skinny mushroom, so I could just go and sell that. It also looks pretty cool, and you could also sit on them. So the third tip is, when you're going to the island and you hear this annoying song all the time, well sometimes they're cute, but after you hear it over and over again it's annoying, all you have to do to skip it and get there right away is just press B repeatedly, then it'll just shut up. <laughs> tip number three is that you can sell your items at retail for four times the amount that they're worth. So. If it was $2,000, you could sell it for $8,000. I do this all the time for my fossils, because I could get um, almost $10,000 for all of them. The only thing is, the maximum price you could sell something for is $10,000, which is why I just do it with fossils. So tip number five, when catching bugs, if you hold down A, you could walk slow so that the bug doesn't fly away on you. So tip number six, when you're fishing for sharks, don't watch for the ball to go under the water. You gotta listen to hear the bobbing, and then you click it. Every time I listen for it, I always catch it, and if I just watch for the ball to go under, I always miss my sharks. For tip number seven, you could hit rocks, shake trees, and dig up fossils in the game. So I just hit a rock, and I got a ruby from it. There's also a random rock each day where if you hit it, you get money from it. Um, let's try this one. An easy thing to do too is to dig two holes behind you so when you um, hit the rock, you could hit it repeatedly without losing the money. And like if you shake certain trees, sometimes you get money or items from them. So a star like this. If you dig it up, you could find fossils. Sometimes there's also, um, those gyroids. Okay. Or also pitfall seeds, so if you walk over it, you fall through it. Um, buried time capsules, stuff like that. So a very useful tip that I find would be that we have such limited space in our storage, but if you just address an envelope to yourself, you could just drag any extra items and put them in the envelope as a present. So if ever you need it, you just go back into it, click present, and it comes back right here. If you're wondering how people get so many different fruits in their town, that's because you could either get them through friends or by island tours. Each town has its unique fruit. Mine was pears, but then you could just get a bunch and plant them in your town, and then you'll have all of them. So the easiest way is to go to an island tour, and then instead of actually doing the tour, you just take the fruit off the trees, and then you can put them... So you just pick up the fruit, and then it'll stay in your inventory. So when you could plant trees, so you just plant trees by burying the fruit, but the only thing is you have to make sure you plant them a square apart, because if you put them right beside each other, then they won't grow, so just make sure you could walk between them all, and then, yeah. So a really cool thing about Animal Crossing games is that you could breed flowers, so you just plant them beside each other, and then eventually one will sprout nearby. So these two made another red one. 
and eventually when you get a golden watering can, you could water wilted black roses and then it'll make a gold roses. Sometimes when you're shaking trees, bees will come from them and attack you, but you could actually avoid that by opening your town gates at first, so like what you would do to uh, invite friends to your town. You just go and open them, and then you'll shake your trees and the bees won't fall out of them. The cool thing is, if you go into Club LOL, they have some gyroids in there. All you have to do is walk up to them, and if you click on one, you could actually switch it out with one that you'd want to. So I swapped it with a lullabyd, so now it has that one there. If you sit on your town's tree for a while, it'll eventually stream your town's history. It's actually pretty cool to read through them, it just tells you pretty much um, all the important events. An important part of this game is to speak to your citizens. Because that's how you get like all your quests, um, you get free items, you can play games with them, and get ideas for public work proje projects. So just talk to them often, sometimes they'll walk up to you with an idea or they'll just talk to you about whatever. So Kid Cat wants me to deliver something for him, so I will, and then after I do that, they'll probably give me a gift, and then, yeah. It also helps to build up towards getting achievements, too, in the game. So tip number 16, if you go to Cyrus and you bring him three um, gold minerals, he'll make you an item out of the gold set. So you'll just get um, a random item. So you just give him the three gold nuggets and pay him 10,000 bells, wait a half hour, and then you'll get a random item. And I got a golden carpet. If you bring Cyrus um, a giant clamshell and a song, he will make you a music box. So you just select one of the items, give it to him. And then you just wait a half hour and then you come and get it from him. And voila, there's your music box. So a cool thing while you're taking a picture, you could actually hold the left trigger and once it takes it, it'll be a black and white picture. And if you do the same thing with the right, you have a sepia picture. If you bring Cyrus um, a whole fossil set, like the torso, the head, and the tail, he can make it into a mini model of the dinosaur. So you just give him all the pieces and then it'll be ready in 30 minutes. And now I have a mini dinosaur model. And lastly, if you buy turnips on the Sunday mornings, um, Make sure not to time travel. This is important because if you adjust your time at all back or forth, they will spoil. So you waste all your money that you spent on the turnips and you can't get them back. Alright, so that was 20 tips that I thought would be useful to share. Um, some of them might have been obvious to you while others probably surprised you. Um, yeah, if there was any extra tips that I missed that you'd like to let me know about, please let me know in the comments below. Um, for all I know, I could be missing stuff as well. Uh, if I helped you out, maybe tell me what was hard for you in the game, and I'm happy to help. So, yeah, hopefully I did help. <laughs> Alright, have a good day, guys. See ya.